breathing. It's something that we don't really often think about. It's something that we just take for granted. But so many people are actually breathing unhealthily. And sadly, most people are not aware of this. The breathwork I teach heals at a very deep level, incorporating all of the aspects of who we are, not just the physical body, but the mental, the emotional, the spiritual. And because of this, it goes very deep into addressing the root cause to why we're not breathing correctly in the first place and to the root cause of disease itself. My teachings have a very strong scientific foundation and much of what I teach is recognised by modern medicine. We're made up of about 50 trillion cells that make up all of our organs and our glands. And every one of these cells, they need oxygen to survive. Just like we do as a complete human being, we need oxygen to survive. Without it, we die. Well, this is what happens to all the cells in our body. If they don't get sufficient amount of oxygen, they start to deteriorate. And if they continue to deteriorate, this is when disease sets in. So here you can see images of live blood tests. These were taken from my client. The first one was taken directly before she attended the five week breath healing course with me. And the second image was taken directly afterwards. So what you can see here are red blood cells. Now red blood cells are what carry the oxygen to all of our cells of our body, to our organs and our glands. And in the first image, you can see that these red blood cells, they're stacking up on top of each other. This is a condition known as rular. And when this happens, it, it actually means that the blood is more acidic and that her blood is quite sticky. And when you have this condition of the, of the blood, it means that these red blood cells are not able to deliver oxygen effectively, sufficiently to the cells of our body. In the second image, you can see a really different picture. Her blood looks incredible. Um, the red blood cells are all separated. They're able to deliver the oxygen effectively to the cells. Her pH is no longer looking acidic anymore. When we start to bring more oxygen into our bodies, our immune system starts to be able to function well. And when our immune system is functioning well, it's able to fight off things like viruses and bacteria, fungus, parasites, and even cancer cells. Our immune system needs an abundance of oxygen to be able to function adequately. Killer T cells are made by your immune system and here you can see killer T cells actually destroying cancer cells. So our immune system also produces other types of white blood cells and here you can see a white blood cell chasing this bacteria which it will ingest and destroy. And here you can see uh, white blood cells attacking and destroying a parasite that's in the body. Our immune systems can only function well if they receive an abundance of oxygen. And this is why it's important to be able to learn to breathe healthily again. So we start to bring more oxygen into our system so our cells can start to rejuvenate, can start to heal, the immune system starts to function better. So the type of person that comes along to my courses, it really ranges. I have some people that come along because they want to learn more about breathing. Some people, they're pretty well, but they know that they can feel better. They want to have more energy, more vitality. They want to feel more happy inside. And then I have a lot of people that come with more serious health issues. Some people that have been sick for as long as 20 years and tried many options and still haven't found the path to good health yet. Some people come along and they have diseases such as cancer. Our bodies have an incredible capacity to heal themselves, to get well and stay well.
and we can see all around us that nature continually supports us in our health, in life. 